Okay, uh, Kelly Willis. What? Kay Fissinger followed by Kelly Willis. Did did Maria ever? Is she gone? She never showed up. Okay. Kay Fissinger, 2199 Creekside Drive. Several of us will be speaking to you this evening about the many aspects of the Heaven Fest rock concert planned for the area around Union Reservoir. We are well aware that certain council members have taken the position that the matter is an administrative decision and not a matter for council. Although use permit procedures are, are delineated in the city's municipal code, the Heaven Fest is beyond the scope ever imagined by that permitting process. First and foremost, the decision to hold an event drawing 30 to 50,000 attendees rises to the level of council policy decision. An approval to move forward with this event should have been answered in a formal motion and vote by the city council before staff time was committed. The Longmont community is entitled to an up or down vote on the appropriateness of this event at the reservoir. We need to know the position of each and every member of this council on this matter. Beyond this current issue, the city of Longmont must develop policy positions that are venue specific. This is not a policy decision for the Longmont Area Visitors Association. It is an issue for the people of Longmont. Last Friday, City Clerk Valeria Skitt forwarded the city's list of requirements to Mr. Bodley for his con concurrence and further input. However, the conditions that city staff has required the uh, of the applicant have not been made available to the public so that it can assess the adequacy of the requirements. When members of the community became aware of this event, they began to speak out and plead with this council to deny the permit. They have come before this council at public invited to be heard. They have written emails to the mayor and city council members and to city staff. They have written letters to the editor denouncing the use of the reservoir for, for this purpose. They have written guest opinions. The Longmont Ledger and the Boulder Weekly have reported on the event and its potential negative impacts. Church members have spoken against the concert at the reservoir. The Boulder County Audubon Society has written the mayor, council, and city staff officials warning of the degradation to wildlife and the environment. So this evening we will break down our concerns and our conclusions about the many aspects of this event that are not in the best interest of Longmont. We will talk about wildlife and its habitat. We will talk about other environmental impacts. We will talk about traffic. We will talk about quality of life issues. And yes, we will talk about the economic impact, a believable economic impact. Thank you. Thank you, Kay. Um, let's see, Kelly Willis followed by uh, Dana Levine. Kelly Willis, 1430 Burlington Drive. Uh, this is regarding the concert. Beyond the code requirements for issuing a use permit, there are other legal documents that have bearing on this issue. The lease agreement between the City of Longmont and the Union Reservoir Company cover 14 acres of land on the south side of the reservoir that are devoted to the Union Reservoir District Park and Recreation Area. This agreement requires the city to use due diligence to secure the compliance by the public or other users with any rules or regulations. The city's decisions are subject to review and comment by the Union Reservoir Company. The irony of the situation is that the city is the Union Reservoir for all intents and purposes. The city owns an 86% interest in the reservoir and Ken Husen, the city's water resources manager, is the president of the Union Reservoir Company Board. It's effectively asking the city if the city is in agreement with the city on issues involving the Union Reservoir. At times, that can be very advantageous to Longmont. In this case, it invalidates any genuine checks and balances. The lease agreement, however, does demand that the city must in no way interfere or impede the operation of premises as an irrigation reservoir in any manner. It further states that the city shall enforce such restrictions and limitations, such as to number of people at the reservoir, number of campers at the reservoir at one time, to promote, sa to promote safe usage of the reservoir. A reasonable reading of these clauses require that the city prevents crowds inside the district park of even a fraction of the number of people expected at the concert both for reasons of safety and for reasons of maintaining the quality of the water contained in the reservoir. Staff is sought to excuse the volume of people expecting 
expected, stating that the Union Reservoir District Park has an annual attendance of around 150,000 people. Let's be clear, that is 150,000 people over the course of an entire year, 365 days. There has never been a crowd larger than 6,000 people, and that occurred only once. The typical crowd is 600 people, such as during the triathlon. 600 is a long way from 6,000 or possibly 16,000. And it should also be recognized that the land to the south and that to the east slopes towards the reservoir. There are irrigation ditches along the edge of the field that could fall victim to any number of contaminants. And one of them discharges into the reservoir. Thank you. Thank you, Kelly. Uh, Dana Levine, followed by Judy Lubau. Good evening, Mayor and Council. My name is Daria Laverne, and I live at 429 Emory Street. I'm here to talk about the Sorry Union about Reservoir. The Sorry, Daria. It's OK. <laughs> I don't write very well, I can tell. It looks like an N, I know. Um, I'm here to talk about the rock concert at Union Reservoir. Throughout the process of allocating areas for various event purposes, there have been times where legally designated open space has been assigned usages that are prohibited by ordinance which have been passed by the people, not by the council. Those purposes cannot be overridden by either staff or council. Since the plans have not been shared with the public, we do have certainty that open space will be proper, we do not have certainty that open space will be properly used. Ordinances, ordinance requires that open space shall be limited to six functions. The most relevant amongst them is the first designated function, preservation of natural areas, wildlife habitat, wetlands, agriculture, and visual corridors. At various times, open space has been designated for use as parking or for use as helicopter port, as a helicopter port, neither of which are permitted. Once inside the district park and near open space, there is nothing that would prevent attendees from wandering into open space in large numbers without regard to preservation. The Union Reservoir Land Management Implementa Implementation Plan governs the Keister property and the Pizzerzak property. Although it allows for recreational use as a secondary permitted function, it delineates by example usages that are very different from the planned uses by Heavenfest. The management plan speaks to uses for archery, dog training, and a BMX bike course. Any of these uses are far different from seven stages, massive vehicle, vehicles delivering equipment, and numerous vendors. The property will hold up to 50,000 people at one time and for many hours. After all, the purpose for being there is to listen to the music. This event is a conceptual stretch way beyond the land, the language of the land management plan. And lastly, there are conditions of the use of public spaces, places permit itself. Some staff claim that none of the conditions require that a permit be denied. If that is not the case, then why even have conditions? If all the city must do is consider the conditions, then are we to, to consider whether the votes in the last election are binding and then ignore them? Are we to consider our utility bills and then fail to pay them? To the contrary, the code does in fact require a finding that the conditions not be violated. It clearly states that the city clerk and the chief building official shall only issue permits upon finding that the permit will not generate any of the conditions specified. Amongst the provisions specified in the portion of the municipal code covering use permits are issued of public access, noise, health and safety, crowding, and damage of property in light of previous uses, current conditions, or future uses. Thank, Thank you, you, Daria. Okay, Judy Lubell, followed by Teresa Lichty. Uh, 